வெல்கம் டு நைபுண்ய விகாசம் ஃபங்க்ஷனல் இங்கிலீஷ் அண்ட் லைஃப் ஸ்கில்ஸ் கிளாஸ் டென்த் மாடியூல் டென் ஐ ஆம் பேதம்பொடி சுமலதா ஒர்க்கிங் ஆஸ் ஃபங்க்ஷனல் இங்கிலீஷ் அண்ட் லைஃப் ஸ்கில்ஸ் ட்ரைனர் நியபிஎஸ் டபிள்யூஆர்எஸ் கோபாலபுரம் வெஸ்ட் கோதாவரி டிஸ்ட்ரிக் டுடே ஐ வுட் லைக் டு எக்ஸ்பிளைன் அபவுட் த பாடி லாங்குவேஜ் இட் இன்க்ளூட்ஸ் திங்ஸ் லைக் ஃபேஷியல் எக்ஸ்பிரஷன்ஸ் அண்ட் கெஸ்டர்ஸ் means giving signals with hands and fingers being aware of various aspects in body languages connect all the difference in how people perceive you and how you perceive them dear students do you know how do we capture and hold the attention of others towards our conversation without saying a single word well it's a wonderful body that would help to capture and hold their attention towards us it is very important when you greet people gives good response and a nice smile on your face then it will give a very positive response dear children here in this picture you observe two friends one friend is telling about her holiday the other friend is listening her but every now and then she starts looking her watch means boredom and how she is expressing the boredom by constantly looking at the watch so while we are speaking to others we should find out whether they are interested or not by observing their body language here students in this picture you can find the interaction between father and son the father is telling that spending more time in the house to the son the son is listening to the father but keeps looking towards the door as if he wanting to run away from his father's talk look at this picture children the mother and daughter is interacting each other mother is asking her daughter to clean up the room and the daughter is listening to the mother with her hands clasped together that means it symbols or it expresses that the girl is feeling ashamed about not having done when promised here we can observe that interacting between two friends they both are playing cards one friend is bullying the other by constantly calling him stupid and the other is eyes narrow and his nostrils start flaring that means they are fighting each other internally here you can observe the classroom situation the teacher is standing in the middle of the class and she is observing all the students sitting on the bench so among the students one child is slouching and the other is nodding his head and the third child keeping pencil up and down so by observing their body language we can tell if they are concentrated in the studies or not there are some tips to improve our body language body language speaks about 70 percentage about ourselves confidence level attractive and respected manner due to poor body language so many are rejected in the interviews so before attending interviews a good presentation besides good communication should be combined with three essential elements they are dressing sense body language and facial expressions dressing sense any sober color combination means avoid dark or bright and no informal or casual ways like jeans open shoes and slippers body language a confident walk hand or arms moments entry and exit gestures energetic body posture and responsive demeanor through nodding facial expression should be look respectful confident curious and keen for your job and maintain eye contact when we speak we have to ensure our body complements our words the words that come out from our mouth we lose their impact if our body is unable to express the same feeling we should learn about it to understand 
other people and recognize it in our own selves have you ever had someone refers to their need for personal space have you ever started to feel uncomfortable when some stands just a little too close to you the term proximix refers to the distance between people as they interact just as body movements and facial expressions can communicate a great deal of nonverbal information nowadays social distance that is 4 to 12 feet this level of physical distance should be maintained with individuals while interacting to avoid or decrease contact between those who are infected and those who are not why because to stop or slow down the rate and extent of disease transmission in a community students now let us discuss what are do's and don'ts for the body language we should avoid three positions with our hands should never keep our hands in our pant pockets should never keep our hand folded while standing while standing we should never keep our one hand on the other hand and the do's we should keep our hands aside which is a sign of open body language and which shows that you are relaxed chilled and confident while explaining and presenting something we should use our hand movement it shows that you are confident about what you are saying and again which is good for us coming to the conclusion body language is non verbal communication for oh, dear students in ancient days that is during stone age period as you all know you have studied in the social studies they don't know any language also so by kinesics means body movement or haptics means touch and proxemics means distance so only they used to converse such type of methods so most importantly body language expresses your emotions and feelings i hope you understood the importance of body language thank you for watching this video